or no, 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 no. So they're, they're just talking about the seven companies specifically picked out of those 16 uh, companies. So Dropbox position was a front end software engineer. This person applied directly on their site and got an email and scheduled. Um, yeah, this is one part where I think it's, it's sort of a hit or miss. If you're going to apply online, it's going to be really hard to get a recruiter to reply to you. Ideally, find someone either through LinkedIn or a personal friend to refer you for a position. That's usually the easiest way to get uh, at least a phone call. Stage one recruiter call. That's pretty, that's pretty typical um, where a recruiter just calls you up and then talks about you know, what, your, what the position is, the company, and whether you know how to code, like whether are you a software engineer, basically. Stage two, technical phone screen, overview, two problems, one easy, the other one hard, harder. I made the mistake of thinking there was only one problem. Problem one, mock CSS, problem two, mock CSS. Okay, interview was rejected due to not passing all test cases. Overall experience, very positive. Both the recruiter and engineer were nice. And the problems themselves were both relevant and fun. Cool. Pretty standard, pretty standard uh, interviewing process. PayPal NDA late offer, full stack software engineer position. Overview, they applied directly on their site. Again, it seems, yeah, it's, it's not very effective, but you know, maybe during COVID-19, you might have a little bit more success because mm, I don't know. Yeah. Went through on-site interview process. Interview result was initially rejected, but then got a call a few couple weeks later. By the time they had already accepted an offer, so I thanked them. Okay. So it seems like this person got an offer, but rejected in the end. Or seems like this person got an offer for PayPal, but they had already accepted an offer. So, okay, cool. Next was Microsoft. Uh, this person was rejected for the position, applied as a software engineer. Um, application process applied directly on their website again applied directly and then they search for a Microsoft recruiter on LinkedIn and message them directly okay yeah so I mean that that's a great way of going around it you know if you if you're not getting any responses when you submit online directly then yeah go on LinkedIn find a couple of recruiters and ask them politely of course to help submit your resume and see if there's a good fit for for, for yourself Stage one, technical phone screen. Um, so I think this was a little bit different. Like they skipped the round with hiring uh, the recruiter directly and went into technical phone screen. Learn about the engineer's experience, the position and the company. Asked detailed questions about my experience. Did a coding exercise, count total number of leaves in the tree. Um, then added some additional criteria. Then asked general technical questions across a different range of topics. Okay, I think that's a pretty typical interviewing process for Microsoft, right? They're, they're going to talk about your experience, um, get a, basically getting some intro and understanding who the recruiter. I think this is a pretty typical interviewing process for a tech company, a general introduction, a coding question, follow up questions, um, and then finally, you know, questions at the end. Uh, interview result, this person was ultimately ghosted. So ghosted here means that they, Microsoft in this case, never replied after the interview. I think my background experience was simply not enough for level two role. Interview experience, very positive. Okay, cool. The next one, hacker rank. Ooh, okay. Position, finance software engineer, application, applied directly, again, applied directly, not through a referral. Got an email invite to do their initial online assessment. Stage one online assessment. So this is probably um, getting assigned some sort of homework assignment where they have several hours to complete the assignment. Had two hours to do two small React projects. First project was to build some components to render a list of items. And the second project was similar, except it involved adding routes and being able to navigate to a route. This project seems very hands-on. It's definitely not something like, you know, solve this coding problem but it's more like okay build this thing that does x and here are the requirements 
typically from my experience, I don't see that many big tech companies doing that because the time investment for doing that is very, very high, both for the candidate and also for the company themselves. And, you know, I've seen companies that do that to sort of like a mix uh, of responses. Some of the candidates uh, simply don't have the time, simply don't have the time to do it and they just choose not to. And some companies, they see some mixed signals in terms of how the assignments come back. And sometimes, even though you tell them to do it in two hours, some might spend, you know, four or five, six hours, or maybe like the entire weekend just working on the assignment. And it is generally a, a mix of results that I've seen. So this is definitely not very typical for a big tech company, but HackerRank probably is still like a startup, I guess. Stage two, phone call with the engineering manager. It's a combination of technical and behavioral. Wasn't too sure what to expect, but ended up being super positive. The call involved situational questions, which were both behavioral and technical, as well as a bunch of specific front end plus react questions across the board. So it seems like this is the round with the hiring manager where they talk about your experience, what are you interested in. Um, usually this round is just to do two things. One is to filter out candidates who are not software engineers. And second reason here is to get a, a feel for the candidate and what they're interested in, what their experience are, and what they're potentially interested in working on. So if this person turns out to be a really good candidate, typically the hiring manager would use some signals from this round to sell the candidate on the company or the team. Now, stage three, virtual onsite. It was, this person mentioned that the virtual onsite was split into two days. In-person onsite was changed to virtual due to COVID-19. First interview, system design. Okay, design a web app where people can play tic-tac-toe together. Okay, that's pretty pretty typical, pretty standard. Interview two, coding challenge. Okay, so two coding challenges. The first one was you know, a typical lead code question. And challenge number two, best time to buy and sell stock. Okay, yeah, that's also a pretty typical standard um, lead code question. Nothing too complicated, just kind of making sure that you are able to write some code. Third interview, a React project. Given part of HackerRank's custom component library, build a simple tabs component. Uh, this, is, this is interesting. This is some combination of writing code and um, assignment based, which I haven't seen that many of, but um, I've heard some companies like, um, they do some sort of like pair programming where they'll give you some assignment and then have another engineer sit right next to you while you code and try to uh, work on that feature. Stage four, virtual onsite part two, interview one, behavioral. Was asked to give examples of when I pers personified hackering core values. Hmm, okay. This is really interesting. Like usually when I think of this, I would think of like Amazon, for example, where they have a strong focus on leadership principles. Um, you know, Amazon is, it's, it's, you know, it's a big company and, but they have a really interesting culture there where they, they want all the people that they hire demonstrate leadership principles. So the leadership principles are you know, like Amazon leadership principles. Yeah, anyone can find them there and you know, invent and simplify ownership, customer obsession are right a lot. Hire and develop the best, insist on the highest standards, think big, bias for action, frugality, earn trust. Yeah, these are all, you know, like amazing uh, leadership principles. I think every company should have core principles like this. And I think in, in Amazon's case, um, they ask a lot of questions to make sure that you're able to demonstrate these traits in the interviewing process. Um, and I believe in these principles as well. I think if you embody these traits or these principles in your day-to-day, -day, you're going to do really well in the long term. Um, I've seen some companies adopt these leadership principles for, for themselves as well. Okay, um, back to this, the virtual onsite. Second is technical plus business. Had a general conversation with about the company and myself. So this 
second day of virtual onsite, it seems like the, to me, I think this person has done well enough in their first day and, you know, from a technical perspective. And this second day is more on, you know, whether there's a good cultural fit and whether or not this person would be interested in, in joining Hacker Rank. Usually it's more of a selling session where they try to talk to you and then try to get you to, to be excited about joining the company. Um, yeah, so it seems like, at least from my perspective, it seems like that's, you know, what, why they scheduled the second onsite. Interview result, interview result was told that I passed the onsite and then be moving forward with an offer. Uh, yeah, okay. So that was with HackerRank and the next one was with Amazon. Let's see how many more we have. Oh, Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Okay. Amazon, positions, SDE, application, the recruiter reach out via hire.com. Hmm. What is this hire.com? Get matched with the job you love. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like hire.com is just like a website where you can sign up and then they find companies to match with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this person got a phone call from Amazon through that website, so check it out. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, stage one, call with a recruiter, standard. So basically, if you, if you haven't realized already, right, it's pretty standard. Usually it's number one, you submit your resume application, number two, uh, recruiter reaches out to you, this is optional. Um, and then the third stage is you either get an online coding assessment or assignment for smaller companies or startups, or so step, num and then step number three, uh, and then step number three, you get some sort of online assessment or a phone call with the hiring manager. Number four, you get a first phone screen and then number five, if you do well, then you're going to get invited for an on-site. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty standard process here. This person had an online assessment instead of a phone call with a hiring manager. Um, and yeah, this was not assignment based. This is more like, can you solve coding problems? And then they move on to the next stage, which was a technical phone call. Yeah, so, okay, here, Amazon, right, they focus a lot on their leadership principles. So I was asked one or two LP, which is leadership principle questions and a co coding challenge. Second interview, leadership principles, again, plus system design. Fourth or third interview, third interview, leadership principles, again, plus a coding challenge. And then fourth interview, leadership principles and coding challenge. So you can see, right, a lot of focus on leadership principles at Amazon. Tip here, if you're, interv if you're interviewing for Amazon, make sure you're brushing up on your leadership principles. Interview, re interview result, they heard back that afternoon that they passed and they're going to make an offer. That was really quick. Usually at 